Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to delete a file in C++, so let's get right into it. So firstly, make sure you import these two libraries at the top. CStudio is a library which is part of the C standard library and contains the functions for file manipulation, including the remove function which we will need to delete a file. And IOStream is going to let us print out the result of deleting the file to the screen. Inside our main method, uh, we have basically got one function call followed by return zero. We're going to be calling a delete file function that we're going to make in a moment, and we're going to pass in a file path of a file that we want to try and delete. So let's define our function. We're going to do void delete file const std string and symbol file name. So this line declares the function called delete file, and it's going to take in a file name, which is a string, as its argument. Since it's void, we don't return any value. And the const std string and symbol part indicates that the file name is passed as a reference to the original string, which is more efficient than passing a copy, which would be by value. As this function doesn't actually modify the file path. And this little and symbol here, this just means by reference. Then we're going to do an if statement. We're going to do if std remove file name dot c underscore str is not equal to zero. This line tries to delete the file using the remove function. The c underscore str function is used to convert the string object to a c style string because the remove function requires a c style string. If the remove function fails to, to delete the file, because maybe the file doesn't exist, or we don't have permission to delete it, it returns a non-zero value to wherever we call this function. So we can essentially check, using an if statement, if our attempt to delete the file was successful or not. So if the outcome of this is not a zero, that means the file failed to delete. So we can then print this out to the user to let them know the file wasn't deleted because something went wrong. However, we can then do an else statement and then do stdcout file deleted successfully because if the outcome of this is a zero, that means the file was deleted without a problem. And that's it for this tutorial, so save your work. If you're in Visual Studio, you can right click on your project, then go to open folder in File Explorer. And in this folder is where you want to put your file if you just want to do um, a relative file path that literally just has the name of the file. You can put your files wherever you want, just make sure you get the file paths correct because that's important for file handling. And we've just got an empty file called test file. So let's make sure we have the correct name here. We save our work and hit play. And it says file deleted successfully. If we go back to this folder, you'll notice the testfile.txt is gone. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. Thanks for watching.